Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today from the High Grade Universe of Century line is the Gundam Narrative C Packs. Now this is obviously uh, pretty much straight from the Apex, uh, but it's going to be a little bit different with some armaments uh, and some little armor here and there. Uh, so this time it's going to come with a nice little shield and the beam rifle, uh, but also some parts on the backpack as well as like the knees and the shoulders are all going to be different so we'll take a look at a lot of that however i don't have the apex to actually have a good comparison with uh so i'll have to kind of make this you know review a little bit standalone-ish uh but regardless it'll let you know exactly if this kit is going to be worth your bottom dollar so as you can probably tell, the red is gone. I did not really care for that color at all. Uh, so I went with my favorite color for a cycle frame, which is kind of this green and, and teal looking color. I think it looks much better. This is maybe my personal opinion. Some people might not you know, resonate with my opinion, but I think it looks a little bit better. At least it's, it's better. Um, I would say it's not like super bright. Uh, Cause that red was just like in your face, and it was it was too much. So I just you know toned everything down. I think the green just kind of you know blends in a little bit well with the overall colors. Uh, so that's kind of just what I went with it. But as you can see, there's not much detailing I did to this kit. I didn't do any top coating. I didn't do much of any panel lining uh, or much of any detail painting. So I'll I'll just go over bit by bit with this kit. Uh, we'll definitely of course go into articulation, so on and so forth. And of course, this review is brought to you by Newtype. You can go to newtypehq.com and you can pick up this kit and many others and as well as utilize that nice promo code Krosama for 10% off. So let's go ahead and move on to the review. And when taking a look at the head sculpt, uh, there are some aspects that definitely remind me of the new Gundam, uh, mainly in the V-Fin since you know the new Gundam also has uh, four little fins like that. But I think regardless, it is in its own right very unique and... I I like it. I, I think the Vulcans are pretty cool on the sides. Uh, I think the side vents are pretty cool as well. The overall colors are really nice. Uh, maybe not as much of the uh, the kind of like navy blue uh, crest, like jewel in the middle. I think that could possibly be a different color. Um, I, I mean, with the, the frame I chose, I think green would obviously be the best choice. But uh, regardless, I think it does look, still looks good. And the overall shape of the V-Fin is fantastic. Now the only stickers you're going to have with the kit are going to be ones for the head. Now the green eye stickers are for when it's kind of in its normal mode. Now when it's in its normal mode, all this cycle frame is going to be gray. Uh, that's pretty much just like uh, how the unicorn has the unicorn mode. Now when you have the red eye stickers, that's when it goes into the NTD mode. So I guess the NTD is new type destroy mode. I could be wrong and I would love for you to go ahead and correct me in the comment section below. Uh, but it does go into that more destroy mode. So all this will go red and then the eyes will go red as well. But once again, I still haven't seen the actual movie. I'm just going to wait for me to be able to like rent it or even buy it on Blu-ray. And then I'll finally be able to watch it. But it was kind of hard to, you know, find it out here in Japan because it wasn't Hiroshima playing. So on and so forth. So instead of the stickers, I did use the Miss Metallic Color GX series, the metal yellow green. I think this color looks super good, and when I usually paint my Gundam eyes, this is the color I kind of go with whenever the eyes are meant to be green, especially like for the, uh, the little sensors. And there is the back camera as well. Now looking at the details for the body, I'm, you know, I'm torn because I really do like the way it looks, but also the exposed cockpit like that just... It doesn't, to me, it doesn't look that great, but I kind of like it because it's unique and you don't really see much like this, except for, I remember like the turn A has the exposed cockpit, but for the most part, uh, you know, I'd rather keep it concealed, uh, but I do respect the unique look. And obviously this is still kind of a prototype. So this is an unfinished overall mobile suit and maybe further on down the line, we'll see a more completed look. Uh, so maybe that could be the D packs or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. I like all the colors that kind of go with it. The vents on the chest look amazing. Amazing. So, yeah, I, I just I would like to see this, you know, more filled in, uh, whether it be custom or you know, actual cannon. And my thoughts are going to be the same on the arms. Uh, obviously, the you know more bicep area could definitely use some more armor, but you know, it, you kind of understand what it is as a prototype, so not really going to harp on it too much. Uh, and I also for all that little silver that you see right there, I did use a chrome pen uh, just to kind of fill in those little circles, and I think it just looks a bit, a little bit better like that. And looking here on the waist, you do have a little bit of that color separation with the gray as well as the white. I think that looks really good. Um, I, I kind of wish it wasn't just split like 
how it is. It's a little bit awkward, and if it was more in a kind of kind of like diagonal, like you know, cut right here and then right here, and then have like a little part of this white, all this white, and then this part right here gray, that would look a little bit better. But hey, you know, I, I think I still think it looks pretty good for what it is. And with the legs, I do think that they look super cool. Even with the exposed armor right there at the top of the thigh, I, I just absolutely love it. Uh, maybe more ankle you know, armor could have been utilized. I think that would have looked a little bit better. Uh, but I, I do love the knees. I, do, I, I think it just looks so much better because um, it's very much reminiscent of the Unicorn Gundam, the way that its knee is shaped whenever it's in its destroy mode. But I like the more smooth kind of curved uh, angle of this one. So that's just kind of like my little take. And then obviously the back thrusters look fantastic as well. And lastly, we do have the backpack. So you, you are going to have a little bit of cycle frame inside there. Uh, looks pretty good though. Uh, don't really have any kind of issues. Uh, maybe when I do decide to paint this kit, I'll paint those thrusters uh, maybe clear, well, like I guess metallic red. Um, and then maybe on the inside, I'll do blue. So that's kind of like my little thought process with that. But you know, regardless, I think it looks good overall. Now for the articulation. So with the articulation, I don't think it's bad whatsoever. Uh, it easily could have been you know, much more improved in the elbows. I don't know why that design choice uh, only gives it one point of articulation. It could have been a little bit better, maybe two points. Uh, I don't see why they couldn't, but yeah, regardless, I, I think the elbows are probably gonna be this weakest, uh, the weakest point on the kit. The overall waist and um, you know chest piece, I think are pretty good. Um, maybe the side skirts could have been a little bit better, have a little bit more rotation, um, just so that way you can go left and right, not just strictly up and down, as limited as it is. But for the actual chest, the gimmick that the you know chest can kind of break apart a little bit and go forward, I think that's fantastic. And the fact that it has two different points of, of like ab crunches, uh, that makes it great as well because you're going to be able to pull off a lot of dynamic poses with that. Um, the legs, the legs are overall very good. The um, you know the ankles, yeah, it's a ball joint, so you may not get as great of movement, uh, but it's still really good because it's going to have two different points, uh, two different little sections. And the obviously the knees are going to have two points of articulation as well. But you know, overall, the the body, the articulation, it's fine. It's completely good and uh, definitely usable. Now for all the cycle frame, I did first start off with a Mr. Color Super Silver. Next I went with the Mr. Hobby Clear Green. And lastly, I went with Mr. Crystal Color Sapphire Blue, uh, just to go directly over it. So that way you see a little bit of blue in that green. And I think, I think this adds a little bit more depth to the actual color. And for some of that green shading on the armor, I did use some pastels. Uh, I just had the green and I just brushed it into a little pan and used a paintbrush to brush across the armor. Now, obviously, it would be a little bit better if I top coated this first and then did that, but you know what? I just went and did it anyways, and if I do decide to paint this, I can easily wipe it off, clean it up, and then paint, and then after that, then go ahead and do all my little uh, brushing. But I'll probably just use an airbrush and do some you know, pre-shading with that anyways. Now for the weapon loadout, he is going to have a shield that can mount easily on the forearm. And this also will have a nice green psycho frame to go along with it. And right here in the front, you will have some missiles and a beam cannon that you can go ahead and paint and detail up. And also, if you want to store in the backpack, you have this little peg piece that connects right there. So you can have some nice little poses with the shield in the back. You can also take the beam sabers right off the backpack, plug them right into the hand, along with the beam effect parts that actually come with the kit. 
And with the beam sabers or any other weapons equipped, you can definitely have some nice little poses with him next to any of the enemies in the series, such as the Phoenix Narrative. And for long distance weaponry, you are going to have this really nice beam rifle. And I do think the trigger finger for this, or the trigger hand as a whole, looks super good. Um, something I'm really surprised about because most UC kits I've seen that has a trigger finger, I don't think look as good, but this looks pretty damn cool. So very happy about that. And overall, the aesthetics of this does look pretty nice. Although, you know, the magazine I think is a little bit too straight. I, I wish it had a little more of a sci-fi aesthetic to it but it kind of looks a little odd like that but you know what the, the rifle itself looks pretty good now you also have this piece that connects right here into the back skirt so you plug that right in and you can plug the beam rifle right into the back and for comparisons here it is next to my high grade new gundam the hg phoenix narrative and the real gray unicorn gundam which i still need to finish so what are my overall thoughts and opinions on this mobile suit? Uh, well, I'm kind of just judging this off the C packs. I'm not really judging it based off the A packs at all, but I really do love it. I love the overall design. I, I, I'm i kind of a sucker when it comes to Psycho Frame mobile suits. Uh, Someone like the Master Grade New Gundam came out, the Verka, that had like a little bit of that Psycho Frame. I absolutely just like jumped on board with that thought it looked super good now this is no exception I love this way more than the apex apex I think still looks great but I, I wish it was more of a, a standalone mobile suit not with the entire uh, kind of like mobile armor that came with it it would have been a little bit better if I could just buy that and just be done with it but you know what this is still really good by itself and maybe later on down the line if I have a little more shelf space I'll get the apex now I think the aesthetics of this combined with the overall uh, articulation and just the weapon loadout, this is a very, very simplistic kit. And I absolutely love the fact that when I painted this green, I, I truly think it made me have a little bit more appreciation for the kit as well. Now, that might not be the case for some people, but I, I do believe that painting a kit, even some kits that I've not really cared for, um, there's some, you know, Zaku's and, you know, other kits in the past that I did paint that I was like, ah, I don't really like this kit, but I decided to paint it anyways, and I absolutely loved it. And I think just putting that extra little work into it, even as minimalistic as maybe just panel lining, detail paints and such, could bring out a kit just a little bit more than what you've seen in just the basic promotional photos. So if you do kind of have a little hint of, hey, I want to get this kit and I want to mess around with it, you know, do yourself a favor, you know, pick it up. It doesn't have much panel lining that comes with it, so maybe take this opportunity to do some scribing or just paint some, you know, little details in there if you want to separate, do some, you know, different masking in here and there. I, you know, whatever it takes. But I think painting this kit is going to be super, super beneficial for your overall taste and appreciation of it. And if you're wondering where you can pick this kit up, well, you can go to newtypehq.com, use the promotional code CROSAMA for that beautiful 10% off. And if you did enjoy this review, please let me know in the comment section below or leave a thumbs up. And like always, please you know comment, subscribe if you have not already. But other than that, guys, I'll definitely try and keep pushing out as many reviews as possible. And we do have the MG Dynamis coming out this weekend. So expect an unboxing ASAP and expect a review this weekend weekend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back to uh, working on that full armor unicorn because I definitely need to get that thing done. But other than that guys, definitely appreciate all of you for watching and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye bye.